Hey dudes, it's Demi and tonight I'm gonna to be dining at Topolino's Terrace at Disney's Riviera Resort. I'm gonna be having dinner here tonight. This is a signature dining, so it's gonna be a little bit pricey. Definitely one of the more expensive meals I've had at Disney, but this place is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to show you the food and talk about it and then maybe if we're lucky, we're gonna see some Epcot fireworks. So let's get into it. Let's go get into some hijinks. So Topolino's Terrace is on the 10th floor. It comes right up here. This is the only thing you're on the 10th floor. You're gonna come in, you're gonna check in with your dining. You have this beautiful wall of wine, just forever. It goes on forever, but it's so lovely. This beautiful wall of pasta, because they do make their uh, pasta handmade here. And ooh, lots, lots of fun things in here. Just so nice as you walk in. The little seating waiting area is so cute with this beautiful little portrait of Donald and Daisy and this awesome, awesome Mickey and Minnie poster. Um, and then picture, painting rather, I should say. And this beautiful painting and lots of nice seating over here waiting for your table. Here is the bar. You can come and just get a drink here. You can even get a drink and then go outside on the terrace and watch the fireworks. Or just go on the terrace and you know hang out on the terrace when fireworks aren't happening. I love when you can see into the kitchen. I think it looks so cool. It's just absolutely so cool. It is so beautiful in here. It feels very, very fancy, very, very schmancy. I'm so excited. And you cannot beat this view. Absolutely gorgeous. My server gave me the QR code to see the menu. I'm gonna pull that up and see what I'm gonna get. This was also here. I don't really know why. It's pretty and I guess maybe we'll find out. If you time it right, you're gonna be able to see the Epcot fireworks from here. And if you didn't time it out right, like me, cause I have an 8.30 reservation and fireworks start at 10, um, I'm probably just gonna go out on the balcony and watch them from there. This place is absolutely beautiful. This is signature a la carte dining. So this is gonna be, pretty expensive for dinner um but this is a great it's just a beautiful beautiful restaurant and probably a great date night or if you're gonna celebrate something super special or if you uh you know save money by not staying at the riviera you can come to topolino's for dinner you could also do character breakfast here this is one of the most popular character breakfasts in all of Walt disney world you have mini mickey um, Donald and Daisy and they're dressed like artists and ballerinas and it's super cute it's really one of like everyone's favorite uh, one of the best uh, character dinings on Disney property um, so you can come and do that here but for dinner there are no characters it's a really fancy schmancy signature dining the breakfast with the characters is a family style included so it's like $42 per person so it's a lot of money for breakfast as well obviously the Riviera is a pretty uh, high up their price in uh, everything, <laughs> but it's so nice. My server Samuel gave me some bread and that made me realize what this is for. That's definitely for some oils. And here it goes. Yeah. All right, so as you are filming, this is our <laughs> John Renault, French olive oil out of Provence. Uh, south of France, they call it black fruity because it has a really nice big flavor profile. Oh, wow. So, I mean, you don't need to enhance the flavor because the flavor is already there. You'll actually notice the olive tone that is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Thank you so much, Samuel. Okay, I'm so ready to get some bread. Ooh, look at that. That looks so good. Look at that. Oh, yes. That looks amazing. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, wow. That is so good. First of all, this bread. Mm. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect bread. Reminds me when I was in France on my honeymoon. This olive oil has so much flavor. It's amazing that there's not like stuff within it. Because a lot of places I go for dinner that do like bread and olive oil, they put like salt or something else in it. Just that olive oil. Mm. There's so much flavor. This is so delicious, but I don't want to fill up on bread as much as I want to keep eating it. So I'm gonna just take one more little bite. And I'm gonna tell you what I got for dinner. You might have noticed my Winnie the Pooh sitting there. I made this here at the Riviera and you can see um, that entire video of how to have a resort day without staying at this resort. 
in this video. I will link it here. It's so great. I definitely recommend you checking out, seeing all the things that you can do at the Riviera without even staying here. And I'm gonna start out with the ricotta here. Um, I just asked our, my server and he said, cheese is made in house, like stretched. I don't, I don't remember exactly how to say it, but it's, it should be super fresh, which I'm very excited about. Um, can't wait to see that. And then he actually convinced me into getting something I probably would have never ordered. It is the sole, like fish. I'm not really a fish person. I only recently starting, started eating fish. I actually learned to eat salmon in December of 2019 at uh, Akashers at Epcot. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm trying. Um, so he said it's amazing. It doesn't taste fishy. It's beautiful and it's an entire fish and it should be because it's This is a real special treat for me that I am here. I don't normally go to signature dinings like this. This is very expensive. Um, so, um, yeah, but hopefully we'll see if it's, it's worth the $50, I guess. I actually even asked him, you would really choose that over any of the pasta because they do make pasta in-house, and he was like, definitely. I was like, ooh, now that's a recommendation. That's a recommendation, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, wow. Beautiful. As spoke about, we have the tomato marmalade. That is your uh, ricotta. Whey cheese we make in the house, finished with a basil leaf with cracked pepper and sea salt. More of the epi. Of course, epi for us is a uh, wheat bread in Italian, so it looks like a little miniature wheat stock. Mm. Easier to look at and pull apart. We have the balsamic, 25 year aged balsamic, and a basil tone uh, olive oil to it. Enhance that. It looks amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. Please enjoy. Okay, this looks so absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. I'm gonna try just the ricotta on its own first. I'm not lying when I say that's probably the best ricotta I have ever had. I mean, I should say definitely the best ricotta I've ever had. This is so fresh. It's so smooth. Oh my gosh. That is so delicious. That is so delicious. Oh my God, that's so delicious. I can't get over that. I want to eat this whole thing. I'm going to try it now with the tomato. Would it be weird if I got down on one knee and proposed to this ricotta with this tomato jam thing? Because this is pretty much heaven. This is literally so good. This is like everything I love. I love cheese. Cheese is one of my favorite foods of all time. I can eat it every day. I do eat it every day actually. And I love a, like a, a tomatoey jam. And wow, this is so good. That jam with it. And when I say jam, it's not like jammy jam, like from a fruit, you know, well, I guess tomato is a fruit, but you know, it's, it's, oh my gosh. It reminds me of when I went to Wine Bar George and I got their charcuterie board this like tomato jam on it and this oh my gosh this is so amazing oh my god oh my god this should be illegal it's so good I am always 100% honest in my videos because I always hate when people overhype anything but this this is so good I swear I'm not overhyping it this is so fresh so delicious so full of flavor I can't stop eating it I will not have room for my entree. Oh my goodness. Chef's kiss. It gets the chef's kiss. Wow. Okay, so I'm literally, I'm in the way to the bathroom and you can see the Magic Kingdom fireworks from this hallway window. How cool is that? <laughs> That's such a, a weird extra perk that I don't know if people would even realize. My entree has come. This is the Soul Classic Soul. I'm gonna butcher this word menu, um, and it comes with capers and in this little sauce with potatoes in between. Somebody just walked by and said this is their favorite dish here. So it's like two big recommendations already. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. This is definitely something I would have never ordered. I'm really excited to try it though. Okay, let's see. Ooh, nice. Actually smells really good. It doesn't smell fishy at all, which I'm always a little concerned about. I'm ready to try it. All right, moment of truth. Okay. 
that's delicious. It does not taste like fish. Um, it is so nice and like kind of crispy on the outside. The sauce is very tasty. I'm so glad I tr I'm trying this. Mm. The sauce is like tangy. I don't know how to try it. It's like very, it's very tangy. And then the outside of the fish, like the line of the outside is really crispy and then the inside is so juicy. Oh my goodness, this is so delicious. I wish I knew that fish tasted this good years ago because I've gone my whole life without eating cooked fish. And now I, oh, I, I feel like I, I missed out on so much. Mm, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like a tangy sweet and I think, is this a date? I feel like it's a date. No, I had a potato. Just, it's the sauce on the outside that like got onto it. Oh, those are so interesting. Look at these potatoes. They are like, they don't look like potatoes at all. They're very tasty. Mmm. Are those potatoes? Wait. But yeah, it tastes like potato, but then there's this potato. I'm gonna need to get some clarification, be right back. Okay, confirmed with Samuel, my waiter. It is, um, they are both potatoes. The This one that looks kind of funny is actually, um, after they are roasted, they smash it and then I guess like roast it again. Um, that's why like the texture is like so different. Uh, it's really delicious. Mm. Like I've, something I've like never had before. And then the rest of the potatoes come between like Yukon Gold and they have some purple ones sometimes. Yep, there's a purple one of them. And then this is like sea greens. I thought it was arugula for a second, but it's sea greens. I don't even think I've ever had a sea green. I'm gonna have it with some of the fish. I like that, I like that. Plus, I love me some capers, and capers go really nice with this. Oh my goodness. A meal I never thought in my wildest dreams I would order and then enjoy. But here we are. I really have learned to love fish at Disney and I think that's incredibly funny. And I really think that's because people, people really just don't know. They just don't know how good Disney food is. I think, it, <laughs> and then they get very surprised. I mean, granted there are things that are not great at Disney, like, you know, you know, some quick services that aren't that great or whatever, or even some restaurants that are just pretty okay, but things like this. This is so good. That ricotta and now this, I mean, and I don't feel like horrible. Sometimes I feel so full after eating dinner and, or even like during dinner and I, I feel okay. Like I can, I'm gonna eat some more of this fish. Normally I feel like by now I would have been done, but everything here is super light, super fresh. This is just so delicious. I get the high price tag. This is incredible ingredients, amazing quality. And um, if you want like a, a really nice dinner, Oh my gosh, I cannot recommend this place more. And I'm still eating. Mmm. That is delicious. If you have had this before, here at Topolino's, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you haven't, let me know in the comments if this is something you would try. Because I think everyone should add this to their Disney bucket list. This is so delicious. I just packed up the ricotta and the rest of the fish. So delicious, but I cannot leave Topolino's without getting a dessert that has been recommended to me by not only people outside of this restaurant, by everyone who has walked by me and my server. So I'm super excited to show you. It is actually accompanied with a wonderful frozen Chantilly, nice uh, cream, mm -hmm. and then that's a vanilla bean gelato sits over it. A nice cacao nib, which creates a chocolate chip gelato, in my opinion. Ooh. Surrounded by raspberries that are tossed in raspberry coolie, kind of give them a diversion of that tart and sweet finish. In the center, it's our Disney Speck Lava Sauce, which is a salted caramel. Once you break open the center, the sauce just oozes out and meets the like of the chantilly and the uh, vanilla beans. So I should break it open that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let it go. flow right into the go, into the ice go. cream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Samuel. Really appreciate it. All right, I am ready. This is the warm Valrona chocolate cake. It's got a lava center, comes with ice cream. 
Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. Let's break it open. Oh boy. Yes. That looks intense. Let's dig in. It smells so chocolatey. Like, so incredibly chocolatey. It's so melty. I'm gonna get a little bit of the lava, a little of the cake, a little of the ice cream with the little, uh, little cocoa beans. Oh my god, it's so messy. It's so messy. Here we go. Wow, that's a good chocolate lava. I'm gonna do one more time and I'm gonna add chocolate, I got the cake, I got the ice cream. I'm gonna add the raspberry and this like cream that's with it. It's too many things, doesn't even fit off my giant spoon. Okay, let's see, come on, get on there. Such a disastrous mess, but it looks amazing. Wow, I'm not usually a fan of chocolate lava because it's a lot of chocolate, and this is a lot of chocolate. Mm. But it's so good. It's like really good quality chocolate. It doesn't, it doesn't it's not like, you know, you know, whenever, when I, whenever I think of chocolate lava cake, I think of like Fridays, because my friend, we used, we used to go to Fridays uh, for some reason. Not the, all right, it's, Fridays is fine, but um, <laughs> I don't mean to poo-poo Fridays if anyone likes it, but he would always get their chocolate lava cake. So that's like what was in my head, but this is just like an incredible version of that. This is absolutely delicious. I cannot take another bite though. I'm so full. But wow, do I recommend that. I recommend everything I ate tonight. Everything was so amazing. I cannot believe how good this place is. You know, there's a lot of places that pay people overhype at Disney that I feel. And I feel like this one actually doesn't get enough hype. All the ingredients were amazing. Everything I ate was so fantastic. The service here is absolutely wonderful. And now is almost 10 o'clock, which means we get to see some Epcot fireworks. What a perfect evening. So it just so happens that where I'm sitting, you can actually see the fireworks. Um, but I kind of want to go outside and see them. If you're dining here, or even if you're not, you can come to the terrace of Topolino's Terrace and watch some fireworks. even see the countries and world showcase all lit up it's so beautiful the view up here is just unreal so amazing my dudes what an incredible night here at topolino's terrace this was one of the best dining experiences i've ever had in all of walt disney world the cast members are so fantastic here on top of everything but everything was so fresh so delicious, so full of flavor. And then to be able to end your night here on this beautiful balcony, or even, I didn't even have to leave my seat because I got lucky, um, and see the Epcot fireworks, I mean, wow, absolutely fantastic. I definitely recommend you checking out my video of hanging out in the Riviera and why you should have a resort day here without even staying here because there's so much to do. This is such a beautiful resort. I absolutely adore it and I hope you come and check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have hung out here at the Riviera, if you've had Topolino's, um, which you prefer, breakfast or dinner, if you've only had one or the other, please let me know. Tell me what you thought of this experience, if maybe you thought it was too overpriced or you know if you thought it was the right amount of money because this definitely is a expensive signature dining, but I think it was so worth it. I thought it was so great. And just ending the night here was just absolutely wonderful. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything that comes on this channel. And follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye!